Hello, let's now use SQL to change some values in a table and you do that using an update query. And the syntax is this, there are three key parts to it. First of all, you say update in capital letters usually is what we do. Then you say the table name. So what table are you changing? Then you use set and set is where you're actually specifying what change or changes you want to make. So you give a field name, you equate it to the new value and you can have multiple changes, in which case you'd separate with a comma. And finally, you don't need to, but you could, well, in most cases you're gonna to need to, you uh, use where to specify what exactly should change. I'll show you what happens if you don't do that in a minute. Let's use a table I've used before called products. I've got currently three products and four fields. And let's say I want to change the price of a protractor to £2.99. How would I do this? Well. What I would do is something like this. First of all, update and write the table name, which is products. Then you set the price to be 299. It's a value, so put it in quotes. Then specify which record needs to change. Well, I want just a protractor to change. So I'm saying where the name equals protractor. Like with previous queries, the semicolon and putting it on separate lines is not essential, but I think it helps how it looks on a page. Now, this would just, that's a very subtle change, you blink and you miss it, change the price from 199 to 299 in just the protractor record. Now, a common mistake is where you forget to specify a where clause. If you left off where, you would get a dodgy result. You would change every price in the table to 299 because it doesn't know which record specifically you want to change. Now here, in my previous example, I used name equals protractor to specify that. But if you really, really, really wanna be safe, use a primary key. Because a primary key is unique, it will only change one row. If you say you had two protractors being sold, both would get changed with what I had before. So to be safe, use the stock ID, for example, but here it's not necessary. Right, looking at another example, which people often ask about because delete in the last video got rid of a row but if you want to just delete one value you've actually got to use update or I would use update personally so if I want to say remove the quantity for calculators but leave the rest of a record alone I would actually use update so very similar to before update products where name is calculator this time but set quantity I'm now setting quantity to be blank it's blank because I've got an empty string. And what that will do is just remove the quantity for the calculator record. Now, it is storing something, it's storing an empty string. But that's effectively how you delete a single bit of data within a record, which is not something you do all the time, but that's how you would do it. And then one final example where we're making two changes. If I wanted to, if I've reset my table, if I want to now add 50 more protractors and calculators, and change the price of both to £2.50, I would need to change two things at once, which you can do within one single update query. So I'm adding 50 to both protractors and calculators, their quantities, but setting both price to be the same. So I do something like this. Update products, like I've done throughout the entire video, but now set quantity to quantity plus 50. A bit like how you're doing programming with a variable, we're setting the new value of quantity to be the old value of quantity plus 50. Doing it this way is better because it doesn't matter what the value is, it's gonna update it properly. You could hard code it, but this is a better way to do things. But because I'm also setting price to be £2.50, I have a comma, then I have price equals £2.50, again in quotes. So if you are setting multiple values, that's fine, just separate them with a comma and make sure you've got the equal sign and the field name. But here, because I am wanting to change two records, I've got to specify this. So I've gone where name equals protractor or name equals calculator. So Boolean or is what I need to use here because I want either, I can't have both. You can't, there's not an item with both, with two different values for name. It's got to be or because I want both of these together. What this would mean is once I run it, I just update both prices to be the same and 50 was added to the quantities. 
So this is, I reckon, about as hard as you're going to get for an update query in an exam. Make sure you remember the name of each of our clauses, same for all of our SQL queries, but also how to do things like have multiple changes in one query.